वेलकम टू इंटरनेशनल एफ डी पी ऑन एनवायरमेंट एंड सस्टेनेबिलिटी ऑर्गनाइज बाई डी वाई पाटिल कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग आकुर्डी आई एम प्रोफेसर अतुल देव अशोक त्रिपाठी वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट जी एस पी एम राजेश शाहू कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग पुणे आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग हेयर एनवायरमेंटल सस्टेनेबिलिटी यूजिंग ग्रीन टेक्नोलॉजी टेक्नोलॉजी सो इन वीक वन वीडियो आई हैव प्रेजेंटेड वट इज ग्रीन टेक्नोलॉजी इट्स रोल इन एनवायरमेंटल सस्टेनेबिलिटी दे एडवांटेजेस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू इम्प्रूवमेंट इन कार्बन इमिशन नो इन वीक टू डिफरेंट आई एस ओ स्टैंडर्ड दैट इज सपोर्टिंग टू अ ग्रीन टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर एनवायरमेंटल सस्टेनेबिलिटी बींग कंसिडर्ड नो आफ्टर गोइंग थ्रू दिस वीडियो द स्टूडेंट विल अंडरस्टैंड वट इज द नीड ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल सस्टेनेबिलिटी ग्रीन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड दे विल गो थ्रू वट इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंस दे विल ऑल्सो गेट मोटिवेट टू यूट एनवायरमेंट फ्रेंडली टेक्नोलॉजी एंड दे विल ऑल्सो नो डिफरेंट आई एस ओ स्टैंडर्ड दैट्स ग्रीन टेक्नोलॉजी सो देर इज अ डिफरेंट आई एस ओ स्टैंडर्ड्स लाइक आई एस ओ वन फोर जीरो जीरो वन वी लुक आफ्टर एनवायरमेंटल मैनेजमेंट आई एस ओ वन फोर जीरो सिक्स फोर इट लुकिंग द क्वान्टिफिकेशन रिपोर्टिंग ऑफ द ग्रीन हाउस गैसेज आई एस ओ वन फोर जीरो टू फाइव लुकिंग एनवायरमेंटल लेबल्स आई एस ओ एट सेवन वन फोर मेजरिंग द रिफरेंस एनर्जी कंजम्पन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक पैसेंजर्स कार आई सो टू थ्री टू सेवन फोर मेजरिंग एक्जास्ट इमिशन एंड द फ्यूल कंजम्पन इन हाइब्रिड वहीकल्स आई सो सिक्स फोर सिक्स नाइन लुकिंग आफ्टर सेफ्टी प्रिकॉशन फॉर रिचार्जेबल एनर्जी स्टोरेज सिस्टम फॉर इलेक्ट्रिक कार्स आई एस ओ थ्री जीरो वन थ्री फोर लुकिंग डेवलप इन कंजंक्शन विद द इंटरनेशनल इलेक्ट्रो टेक्निकल इमिशंस एम्स टू मेक आई सी डी प्रोडक्ट मोर एनर्जी इफिशियंट नाउ आई एस ओ लुक आफ्टर in the area of the construction industrial product and processor renewable energy power generation it and household appliances wind power transport and hydrogen now before going ahead we'll have to know what is green technology it is also called a clean technology environment friendly and friendly technology it concerns natural resources and the environment sustainable development it also give radical thinking to change and uh, innovate technology goals of green technology is rethinking recycling renewing reducing responsibility environmental sustainability can be achieved through shifting to renewable resources protect health of ecosystem avoid excess pollution intergenerational decisions and target welfare not the gdp now in this particular table we are finding what are the different sector and what they are causing uh, greenhouse gases emission uh I mean to say carbon emission uh, how they are just uh, polluting the water how metal consumption they are having etc now some of the energy policies are there renewable energy that is going uh, annually 10 to 60% smart grid that reducing the existing 5% grid loss and the uh, ocean derived hydrocarbon fuels that is having zero net carbon emission because upper layer of the world's ocean is higher than that is Uh, found in the air in terms of carbon dioxide availability now so we'll have to uh, more promote cogeneration because we people are using separate power supply so in some of the application it is causing the generation of the heat so if we are just combining the both the overall system efficiency reaches 87% in spite of using this if you are not using cogeneration the system efficiency remain only just 5% now sustainable transport so if you are using air travel so 285 g per kilometer carbon emission is there large car we are using 158 g per kilometer small car 104 g per kilometer two wheeler 72 g per kilometer buses 68 g per kilometer large car 55 g per kilometer small car 42 g per kilometer and the passenger train causing 40 g per kilometer now overall whatever the sector we are using so how much they causing the greenhouse gases emission this is as so far carbon uh, car 44.4% motorcycle 0.9% heavy duty vehicles 18.4% light duty vehicle 8.9% railway 0.5% in international aviation 11.8% domestic aviation 1.3% international aviation 11.6% domestic navigation 1.3% and others 6% now how the 
uh, grid to motor efficiency can be achieved if you are using conventional uh, uh, hydrogen electrolysis means hydrogen production uh, system which is combinedly is having around 85% of efficiency that is given to fuel cell which is having 60% efficiency and fuel cell is feeding to the car so overall efficiency that achieved that is 43% only in steer of this if you are using electricity wall direct feeding to the uh, charger which is having 93% efficiency and charger is uh, giving supply to the lithium ion battery which is having 93% of efficiency and this battery is feeding to the car so battery electric car causing grid to motor efficiency around 8 now how the carbon emission can be calculation so that is uh, equal to aspect quantity data into conversion factor aspect quantity data means we have uh, there is uh, some conversion how much the key uh, which of the fu fuel we are using or which instrument we are using right and uh, into conversion factor conversion factor will discuss in the next table so we are finding real time calculation how can be intangible asset direct and indirect environmental aspects conversion factor greenhouse gases emission in kg emission data which is in terms of carbon factor now this is the particular labor in on the basis of that we people can select uh, what will be the aspect data unit and carbon factor to be selected now so that's why we what people are getting when we are using the green technology so Car reduction on the carbon emission will take place so ultimately will achieve environmental sustainability thank you